What's up, science team? This summer, I'm gonna be hosting my very first Netflix show. It's the first show ever to combine reality, competition, and glass blowing. It's called Blown Away, and the release date is July 12th. You're definitely going to wanna watch it. This whole experience with Blown Away got me really stoked on glass and glass science. So I went to the Corning Museum of Glass, where we did some science experiments, all sort of revolving around glass, and they showed me a really cool experiment with Jolly Ranchers. So for today's experiment, we're gonna heat up a Jolly Rancher like glass and see if we can blow a bubble out of a Jolly Rancher. You're gonna need a heat gun, some Jolly Ranchers, and this is just a glass straw. I believe this is a Pyrex glass straw. They make these as reusable straws so that you don't use plastic. Plastic goes into the ocean most of the time. It's not good for the environment. Um, now the first step is going to be taking this Jolly Rancher and getting it nice and melty on one side. Now, the way you wanna do this is you wanna heat both ends, this end and the end of the Jolly Rancher, you're gonna kinda of like fuse these together. And it should happen pretty quick. You can see it's getting a lot softer and a lot gummier. We're pretty much good now. So now that I have it like this, hmm, sour apple flavor. <laughs> okay, so now that we have it like this and it's like fused on there, now we don't have to get our fingers in there. What we can do, so we can put it in our heat source, we can rotate it. Now, I'm about to tell you something here in a little bit. It's gonna blow your mind <laughs> after we uh, attempt to get this thing nice and blown up. I have this cookie sheet over here. I'm gonna use this as my marver. In glass blowing, that's the thing that you kind of roll the hot glass on. And you do that to sort of like form, form the glass how you want. Our uh, Chali Rancher is getting really, really soft here. You can see it like it almost it wants to fall over. So I have to continuously rotate it in order to make sure that it doesn't literally just fall into the heat gun. All right, now I'm gonna kind of just jam it down in there and see how soft it is. I just want to get more of the straw in there is really what I want to do. Form it, form fit it. I'm gonna attempt to actually put some air in this thing. So I got a little mini bubble. A little guy, but I think I think we can do a lot better than that. Yeah! What? <laughs> That's so good! That was like huge! If we, we can actually just let this kind of cool for a bit, we might actually be able to get it to the point where I can turn it all the way upside down, just as in, in this form. So here's the fact that I want to tell you that's really gonna blow your mind. Jolly Ranchers are glass. In this candy, in the Jolly Rancher, they add corn syrup. And what corn syrup does is it actually kind of like prevents the ability for the sugar to fully crystallize. What that means is, is that it's never quite crystallizing. It's never quite taking a shape. Technically speaking, glass is defined as a non-crystalline transparent solid. And that's essentially what a Jolly Rancher is, sugar glass. And so glass, when we think of glass, typically we think of soda lime glass. A Jolly Rancher is also technically glass. It's just that it's not made up of uh, silica as the base product is instead sugar. In a way, what we did is we actually just did blow glass because a Jolly Rancher is glass. I'm an, I, am, I am officially a glass blower. All right, now, it is a Jolly Rancher, so of course, the first thing that comes to mind is, what would it taste like? This is edible art, in a way, since I'm now, as you guys learned, a Oh no! That was not supposed to happen! I just wanted to see what it would taste like. <laughs> Very much green Jolly Rancher style. I really weird to like, eat the bubble. Cause it starts off very like easy to chew, but then it kind of turns into a Jolly Rancher in your mouth. All right, I want to I want to go bigger. I want to see if we can do like three or four Jolly Ranchers at a time. Let's see what happens. Okay, so for the next one, we're gonna go with watermelon and cherry. Get a nice little spread. Oh yeah, there we. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe too melty. Oh, 
there's a hole in it somewhere. <laughs> but dude! Yeah. Oh, oh no! I wonder if I could just like roll it back up. You know? Probably. I just made like cotton candy in a way. Amazing. Let's see if I can melt it back down. Cause that was a really good one. Should we add another one just yeah. for funsies? I think right. them all. It's happening. It's getting crazy. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be like multi. Dude, <laughs> that's pretty red. Oh! <laughs> it was so good. Okay, so we're gonna try it one more time. We're gonna try to see if we can actually do the same thing but with a larger blowpipe. I think we can actually go a little bit bigger, but I wanna make sure that I can get at least a bubble out of this first. I think that'll build my confidence level. Oh. Oh. All right, so here's what we discovered. When there's less air in it, it's a lot easier to do. Now that I've attempted to do this so many times, it's also pretty difficult to like get it to behave. I think I have a whole new appreciation for just glass blowers in general who can just like kind of be like boop and like this giant bubble appears. Like this is tough. Oh, it's such a cool flavor. It's like, it's like the watermelon and cherry. We're gonna go big. We're gonna find something that is bigger than this little tube right here, and we're gonna put a handful of Jolly Ranchers all together, we're gonna melt them all down, and then we're gonna see how big of a bubble we can blow. That's what we're gonna do. All right, here's how many I think we're gonna melt down all at once. All right. Wow. Let's hit him with some heat. Oh, this, you can smell it. It smells so good. It smells really good. It smells like Jolly Ranchers. This is actually one of the first experiments actually ever that has smelled good, tasted good. It's just been nice, you know? <laughs> It just looks really cool. Like, let's look at it in the sun for a second. Sparkly. All right, let's blow her up. Oh, what? Oh, it's like tie dye. Oh, it looks cool. Oh, it looks so wicked. Don't you dare. Should I give it its first test? Yeah. Do it. See if it'll hold. Do it. Hold there or not. I don't know if anything happened. Can't tell. There may be a bubble in there. <laughs> Is it getting bigger? I don't know. Man, I'm like really trying my hardest there. I'm gonna pass out, oh my god. <sighs> I can't get enough air pressure in there. All right, so that's 75 PSI. Oh, that's so cool. Plum cake. Tastes really good, actually. Kind of get all the flavors. Oh! <laughs> it, it blew right through it. Oh! Oh my God! Bad. <laughs> oh no! We're losing material. No. Uh, we got one, it's just it's really goopy right now. That was pretty good, that was pretty, that was pretty good. There was a hole in it. All right, so we, we gotta draw some parameters. What is success? I'm gonna say something that is bigger than my head. Otherwise, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna continue to go all day long 
and then we're just never gonna never gonna get there. <laughs> oh. Dang. <laughs> I don't want to admit defeat. It's not who I am. But I will just have to say, I just don't think I'm qualified to be a glass blower of this size. I was really good with the one rancher. <laughs> okay, there we go! Okay, you guys saw it. I blew a bubble. It was crazy. It happened very fast, but it was at least the size of my head. And I'm going to stretch this out to see if I can get it to cool off in a big stretch. All right, that totally worked. We definitely got where we wanted to go. I blew that bubble, it was huge. At least I think it was. You know what, even if it was, I'm gonna act like it was. I'm gonna get it to the, where I want it, and I'm just gonna dump some water on it. This is gonna be our piece of art. Okay, there we go. We took a Jolly Rancher, we warmed it up, and we took a glass straw and we blew up the Jolly Rancher into a bubble. Then we tried a little bit more Jolly Ranchers and made an even bigger bubble. Then from there, we melted a ton of Jolly Ranchers and used a different blowpipe and blew something as big as my head and then made some Jolly Rancher art. I wanna say thank you to the Corny Museum of Glass. They have a YouTube channel. You should go over to their YouTube channel and check it out. They've got a lot of really cool glass videos. Um, they showed us this experiment and so this is, this is how we got the idea uh, to do it. Also, the Netflix show is coming out July 12th. Uh, it's called Blown Away. You guys are gonna love it. Make sure to watch it. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know. Did you know that Jolly Ranchers were actually glass? And did you know that you could blow a bubble out of a Jolly Rancher? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you really soon.